I have one of the strangest jobs on the planet. I started modeling when I was 16. I was a really strong-willed 16-year-old. There still were moments where I didn't speak up for myself. So I wanted to talk about how I think everybody can become an activist. I tell myself three things over and over. Don't be too lazy to learn. Do the reading, do the research, call people, talk to people. Don't be afraid to be wrong. You're going to be wrong. <laughs> and actually, my third thing that I always tell myself, it's more important to apologize than to be on the right side of an issue. If you're just starting out, I'm going to give you some advice. Commit yourself to show up five times this year for causes that aren't just about you. I used to think that I had my activist self and my modeling self as deeply grateful to fashion as I am. It's a double-edged sword. Even in my continued participation, I, I try to bring those two things together, but it's hard, it can be hard. You know, a lot of that injustice, a lot of that <laughs> sexism that I experience is micro. Someone is watching me undress or being touched by people in a way that I would prefer they don't touch me. Being in a situation where it's difficult to speak up because speaking up would be seen as being difficult. I would call my agent and they say, oh, Cameron, you're being such a feminist. Don't say anything. Don't mess up this relationship with this photographer. And I didn't say anything. Um, I felt like, wow, this is really hard because I'm someone who is perceived to be a woman leader and yet even I can't always speak up. And so I thought what we really needed to do was find a way to become connected and to trust each other and to build community. There is no such thing as, as being one powerful person by yourself. It's lonely. <laughs> this should be the beginning of all of us trying really hard to listen to everybody else.